Welcome to the Taxify driver app tutorial. Congratulations! You have completed the registration and training process to become a Taxify driver and are almost ready to start your new role. In order to make the process of picking and dropping customers in their select destinations easier, Taxify has developed an app to help customers find you faster, set your location, and help you manage your income. In this tutorial, we will take you through the basic functions of the Taxify Driver app. So let's begin. How do I get the Taxify Driver app? You can download the Taxify Driver app for free by 1. Go to Google Play Store. 2. In Google Play search bar, type Taxify Driver. 3. Select the Taxify Driver icon. 4. Click on the icon. 5. Select Install. Tip. It is important to note that there are two types of Taxify applications. One is for you, the driver, and one is for the customers. Please make sure you always download the Taxify driver version. How do I start getting customers? As soon as the Taxify driver app is installed, press the green open button. You will see the sign in page of the app. If you already have an account, Simply select Sign In. If it's your first time, select Sign Up and create an account. In the Sign Up page, fill in your email address, phone number and city, then click Next. The pages that follow will ask you for details, including full name, details of your car or bike, your license, national ID and KCCA sticker. You will also need to upload picture evidence of each of these documents. Tip. Make sure you have internet connectivity or the application will not work. On the home screen, you will see your Go Online, Go Offline status update and below that, your earnings, activity score and ratings. We will get to those later. For now, you need to go online to start working. Slide the green tab in the middle of the screen from left to right. Congratulations, you are now online. What happens when I go online? You will see a map with your current location on the screen and a circle of one kilometer radius around you. This circle indicates your area of operation, which starts at one kilometer from where you are. You can increase this to as much as nine kilometers. What happens when a customer requests for a Taxify driver? Taxify customers will use their version of the Taxify app to call a Taxify. Taxify then looks for a Taxify driver nearest to them and gives the Taxify driver a notification. If you are the Taxify driver nearest to the customer, you will hear this alert. On your screen, you will see the option to accept or decline. You have 20 seconds to accept the request. You will also see the time it will take to get to the customer's pickup point, the distance to the customer's location, and the name of the customer on your screen. Tip If you decline or do not accept the call, you will be registered as non responsive, and your status will be automatically changed to offline. You will need to swipe Go Online to receive future requests. This also affects your activity score. If you choose to accept, you will see the route map to the pickup location. Follow this map to the customer. You will also see how far you are from the customer. Example, four minutes. You can call the customer by pressing the three lines at the top right corner and select call client. As soon as you get to the pickup location, slide from left to right on the green tab at the bottom, arriving now. This will notify the customer that you are approaching them. Tip, please note that the customer will be notified of your arrival and will be shown your name, your photograph, the type of border you are driving and your number plate. It is very important that you never lend your border to anyone to use as Taxify or change the border you are driving without following Taxify's procedures. How will the customer pay me? The customer has the choice to pay you either with cash or using Visa card. If it is a card trip, it will say card payment. Once the customer is ready to start the journey, select the tab at the bottom of your screen, Start Trip. 
the trip both yours and the customer's Taxify applications. Do not start a trip without the customer. When you have reached your destination, slide the red tab at the bottom, End Trip. You will see a Confirm Price page. The total amount required from the customer for the journey will be displayed on your screen. For example, 6,000 shillings. The customer will then pay you using the method selected earlier. Example, Cash. If they have paid you the correct amount using the correct method, please slide the green Confirm tab at the bottom of the screen. In case there is an issue with the payment, please select the Fair Review tab. Select which problem you are having and follow the instructions. When you have completed the journey and payment, select the tab End Ride. Tip. Your client will rate you as a driver and you can also rate them as a customer. Select which option best applies for the client and rate them as you wish. The default rate is 5 stars, the highest or best rating. After rating your customer, simply select End Trip. We wish you all the best. Taxify.